I walk the marsh for inspiration, observing, recording, making no tan studies, color studies, and I use photography, taking it all back to the studio to dissect and rearrange it into pleasing compositions. I'm obsessed with color. Um, the mood of a scene totally changes constantly with color. Amazing morning light or late day light streaming across the marsh. There's a particular current of energy that I really like. I'm not trying to copy it exactly, but with my color, I push it and saturate it, even crank it up a little bit. This show, some folks will be surprised because I have some pieces that are much more tonal for me, as well as a whole series of uh, black and white work. Well, I first came to the Cape 27 years ago, and I immediately fell in love with it. And I was always enamored with the quality of art that was on the Cape. And the history too, especially the history of Provincetown. So it makes it even more special that my first museum show is going to be at the Cape Cod Museum of Art. It's an honor and a thrill and um, I'm ecstatic. I'm totally ecstatic about the show. I have to admit at first I was a little intimidated, but I've been working on this show for a good year now and I'm really pleased with it. Building up mark upon mark with the color. What I love about color is that I can actually, at this point in my painting, uh, be able to put a spot of color down next to another spot of color and have the ability to either push something back or make something come forward. I love that with color. It's kind of like being a magician. This is one of my coolest paths that I just love. It's uh, right behind my cottage. And uh, I love the fact when I walk in here, you feel totally enclosed by the Phragmites and like they're surrounding you and almost holding you in a way. Phragmites. I'm drawn to the pattern, complexity, and elastic structure of the plant. At times they move in great unison bringing to mind a murmuration of birds, yet quickly dance in erratic whirls of dervish with just a gust of wind. Late day light expresses their massive sacred colonies that glow with a spiritual presence and turn to spikes of fire at sunset. They enclose and comfort me, whispering their secrets. Uh, I jokingly liken the Marsh journey to my and my experience to the man on the moon. I paint what I know now, what has become familiar to me. This endless, complex, fascinating place has my entire attention. It's an extremely intimate and personal relationship that has awakened my soul and I am forever grateful. The marsh has been my exploration in space and place. I live on the marsh. I work on the marsh. I'm surrounded by it. <laughs>